you know, when we when we started using social software in my IT group, um, really the motivation for me was I have a large distributed team that I just couldn't keep track of. I couldn't keep track of what was going on. And, and I, think, I think in large organizations, in any kind of organization where you need to collaborate across, call them silos or call them organizational boundaries or whatever, I had to collaborate across geography, lines of business. You know, I have, I have people reporting to me in, in France and Texas and, and California and Arizona and all over the place. Um, I sit in Chicago and, and uh, you know, I, I, I threw some technology at the problem. We had to rethink a few of the things we did, but, you know, we ended up with, you know, it's where the documentation lives. It's where the compliance work lives. It's where the issues, uh, issue tracking happens. It was, it was all of these, you know, people talked about these, these barely repeatable processes that they didn't live in a transaction system, but they were happening all over the place that they, they really needed, we really needed to put some kind of, some kind of boundary around it and say, here's how we do this stuff. And, and you know, a, a social software platform was really the only thing you could throw at it. I mean, uh, I always, I would always sit down and I would try to draw a, uh, an entity relationship diagram and, and think about data models and things. And then I come to realize that, well, you, you don't start with data models with enterprise social like You start with a few principles, you start with a, a basic framework, and then you kind of have to let things happen after that. And that's a, that's a very uncomfortable thing for a lot of managers. You have to get ready for people in your organization, your employees, your managers coming to you with uses you hadn't thought of. Things are going to happen that you didn't predict. Um, you know, one thing we never had happen, we never had any of that, um, oh no, somebody said something on the collaborative platform that everyone could see that they shouldn't have said. You know, that, that doesn't happen in, in communities where, where there's usually a high level of trust and, you know, this isn't uh, anonymous people on the internet dealing with each other. And, uh, you know, we got, we got a lot of value out of that. But, you know, that was, that was finding value in a group of uh, 100 to 150 contributors with up to a few thousand people that were interacting with us. You know, we didn't start with saying we're trying to solve the problem of 60,000 people. And, you know, um, which I'm... I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm skeptical of some large deployments because what I've seen is they just turn into a bunch of glorified discussion boards online that that no one actually uses to get real work done. Um, but uh, you know, I think starting to me, it's that that you achieve the collaboration through the social software. You start small and you scale out based on. Based on examples that work, you do it through solving people's problems that they currently have, uh, giving them tools to get their job done, not not giving them tools that helps the manager provide more control for them. Yeah, you know, exactly. they, they can they can sense that workers sense that a mile away. If if the technology that's being put in place is something that's about control and not about really making them more effective. Mm 